Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we're back to go over my grocery haul for week four for the month of January. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope y'all are having a super fantastic Sunday. I'm hoping my mic filters out the dog barking next door. Um, I tried to wait him out, but he has been at it for like hours. So <laughs> this is his party and he can bark if he wants to. Okay, so let's get started. I got some broccoli. I got the two pound bag again for $2.48. We eat a lot of broccoli. Um, yeah, I noticed that recently. I also got some chicken tenderloins. Now I was lazy. I didn't want to do a whole lot of chopping, but I did chop these up. One pack for $6.73. The second pack was $7.49. And so I used this to make some blackened chicken, chicken teriyaki um, for our bowls for the week. Next, I got myself some chopped onions and peppers for $3. And this worked well with the stir fry that I was doing. I also got some ground sausage for $4.48 a piece. I made a pepperoni and sausage lasagna on Sunday and the leftovers went to make like three bowls for the week. I got some cream cheese for $2.12. I also got some uh, veggie cream cheese garden vegetable cream cheese for two dollars and 12 cents that's really good with some carrots <laughs> also got myself some coffee uh for 14 dollars and 92 cents we also got um ritz crackers for three dollars and 88 cents so i'm gonna make a tuna salad chicken salad um uh, next week also got myself some grape tomatoes and they were two dollars and 66 cents that's a snack on and blackened uh, salmon fillets that was seven dollars and sixty two cents so those it was like three in a bag so that made three bowls i fixed that with some salmon no salmon and spinach what am i talking about carrots a dollar and 24 cents so snacked on those and i'm going to use them in a future recipe i've got myself some restaurant style green beans and they were three dollars and 48 cents put that with the blackened chicken and these little balance breaks, these are actually good. The cheese and crackers were $3.34 as well as the ones that cashews. Um, and it had cheese in there. And I forgot this, what the fruit is. <laughs> Can't remember right now, but both of them were $3.48. Um, also picked up some lasagna and that was $2.47. Gotta restock my graham crackers for $4.58. Now to go with my tuna salad, I'm going to have these good thins and they're $3.58. It was also, I bought a, a rebate for them. Of course, I got to have my Nana's and they were 93 cents. Nature's candy. I <laughs> got myself some hummus for $3.47. Uh, some romaine lettuce and that was two dollars and 24 cents also picked myself up some uh smart sweets again y'all know i love this candy i gotta stop buying this candy it's four dollars and 98 cents make sure i don't run out of tuna i bought three dollars <laughs> i bought another set for three dollars and 28 cents it was on end cap i just grabbed it and stuck it in my basket um, but I actually had tuna here. I got some sweet relish for $1.67, just in case you can never have enough. I <laughs> also picked up these pretzel crisps. They're already sized in the one ounce bags, like that, $5.48. And so that and my hummus, carrots and the hummus, that was the snack for the week. And now these fruit snacks, um, they were $2.50 a piece. Um, and I actually didn't touch any of these this week. These were for my sons. And so they were used for my fetch rewards. I think it was like 1,500 points if you bought like three. Um, I got some red Idaho potatoes and they were $3.38. I made some ranch roasted potatoes this week too. And that went in some of the bowls.
Next up was my blueberry bagels. That was $4.32. Not sure why you get blueberry bagels and strawberry cream cheese. I always like it that, like that. I'm not sure why. The brioche bread is $3.84. Um, I like this bread. I tried sourdough. That stuff was dry. <laughs> this cheddar cheese dip is $3.48. My son wanted some flaming Hot Cheetos and they were $4.48. So I tried to get the biggest bag I could find. Um, and I was like, please don't send me back next week for more of these chips. Um, I also got him two things of root beer for $3.28. So that's everything from the grocery haul. Now let's look at my rebates through our bottom. was able to get a rebate of $5.75 in Ibotta. And these are all the items that I got it for. And um, I did pretty good in Fetch too. I think I earned about 3,500 reward points this past shopping trip with 1,500 coming from me buying those two fruit snacks. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys again on Tuesday. Y'all have a super fantastic Sunday.